It's going to rain soon. How can you tell? <laughs> Gray clouds covering the sky. Look. And there you go. A lightning bolt. Did you see the lightning bolt there? And now you're going to hear the sound of thunder. Maybe not. Most certainly. How can you say that so confidently? Because lightning and thunder happen at the same time, when clouds crash into each other in the sky. But we see lightning first, because light travels faster than sound. Yuri, see? I mean, heard that? <laughs> Squirmy creature. Uh. Not when it's an electric eel. Oops, the one that gives you an electric shock? Yes, an electric eel is one fifth body and four fifth tail. It does not have a backbone, teeth, or scales. The battery is in its tail. It simply electrocutes small fishes and frogs and eats them at its leisure. Eerie. It discharges different intensities of current to suit the purpose. Low intensity or milder are used as a radar to move about in muddy streams, which are its habitat. The mild impulses are also used for communication. The high intensity charges are for stunning or killing smaller fish and to defend itself from predators. Wow. It's so hot. I wonder why the sun is so hot on a bright summer day. It's because the sun is a star with very hot conditions inside. It is a big plasma ball of hydrogen held together by mutual gravity of all its mass, where hydrogen molecules are constantly fusing together to form helium and in the process producing enormous amounts of heat. The temperature on the surface of the sun is 6,000 degrees Celsius and 16 million degrees Celsius in the center. Hmm, and the sun is in the center of the solar system. So, the sun does feel very hot, uh huh? The heat of the sun makes life possible on Earth. So, never leave the house without your sunglasses on a hot sunny day. And when playing games, or swimming under the hot sun, always put on sunblock cream first. I copy, Professor. Protect green cover. Go green. Uh huh. Huh? But why only green? Yeah, I have seen plants that do not have green leaves. Because almost all leaves are green. And why are most leaves green? It's because leaves are food factories of the plant. They contain a pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll pigment is used by plants to prepare their food. The pigment gives plants their green color. There are other pigments in the leaves too, which are yellow, orange and red. But they occur in lesser quantities than green chlorophyll. In fact, the combinations of different pigments make different shades of green. So, 
um, going green makes sense. What if the color of the sea was yellow? Yellow like the stripes of my furry body? <laughs> yeah. I wonder, why don't we have a red?